stuff. It's UART, not EW. I would like to be. Okay, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how it can be easy being green. Come with the frog, sing some song. Sorry, Jim Henson, but you're kind of wrong. Basically, uh, there's a lot of small individual efforts that we can make to make the planet a little bit greener, make our lives a little bit easier. The solution that I'm proposing is to the problem of urban heat islands. Basically, an urban heat island is the phenomenon where cities, in, as they get larger, they become more hot, they attract a lot more heat, you know, it becomes uncomfortable. This image on your left is going to be Tokyo. The image on the right is Meibashi. Uh, if you go to the slide here, uh, Tokyo is about, you know, three degrees warmer-ish than Meibashi on average in Fahrenheit. And Tokyo is a coastal town, well, while Meibashi's not, so it's actually probably a little bit weirder than that. But, you know, obviously as we get more and more people together, it's just going to get hotter and hotter. That's something we can't really change. The question becomes, how can we actually affect this and what's the real culp culprit? The, qu the culprit here is black tar roofing. Black tar roofing is this super cheap, you know, it's pretty affordable. You can make it different colors, way of finishing rooftops and, you know, whatever else you have, like school buildings, everything. But the problem is that it absorbs so much heat and then just reflects it back into the atmosphere. It can really make a huge difference on your temperature. One of the solutions is elastomeric roof coating, where basically you take a kind of plasticky substance and you spray it over the top of your roof. It makes it white, so it reflects back a lot of the heat. It works really well, but it doesn't really work in a big city where obviously you're not gonna be able to get the truck that sprays this up 30 stories. So the solution I'm proposing is rooftop gardening. Rooftop gardening, basically, uh, this is the National Research Center in Canada. Basically, Karen Liu has proved that the rooftop without the garden side on it is about 15 degrees Celsius warmer than the side without the garden. This is the City Hall building in Chicago. They managed to cut down their energy costs really efficiently and keep their building about 15 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the building next to them by installing a bunch of rooftop gardens. This is the National University of Singapore where they proved that any building, the uh, standard five-story commercial building could save up to 14.5% on their annual energy costs by building a uh, rooftop garden with about 10 centimeters of soil on top. And this is the West End City Center in Budapest. They've actually managed to lower the internal temperature of their complex by about 33 degrees Fahrenheit in the height of the summer by adding several rooftop gardens on multiple levels. Basically, you can't always do something big. You can't afford maybe to put this giant rooftop garden on, the top, on your building. Maybe your landlord won't let you, what have you. So you can use a sub-irrigation planter. Sub-irrigation planter is basically any material, it can even be recycled if you want to be extra green, but basically it creates a false bottom to create a reservoir of water, then you put soil on it, it's actually more efficient that way, it's a, I think it's called hydroponics. Basically, uh, you can even see here where they used recycled plastics to create the delivery system for the water as well. Uh, basically, you can just use this over and over again. You can use the food that you, you can use it to grow, you know, just little aesthetic things, or you can use it even to grow a vegetable garden and feed yourself, feed your family, feed your community, uh, bring your community together with a community garden, that kind of thing. And that's what I was talking about. Thank you.